dance, dance, we on Friday night. What's going on, world? It's your man, St. Uno, back again for another one. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about a vital tool for success, and that is AAA. And you might have heard of AAA in terms of, oh, I locked my key out of my car, or I got a flat tire on the road, I got to call AAA up so they can come give me a jump, they can come give me a new car battery and shit, you know what I'm saying? I used to have AAA, AAA kind of played out, it's kind of old school now, um, you can really find shit that like that you don't got to pay for. And they're not that efficient and shit, too. So we're talking about the esoteric AAA, right? We're not talking about the actual, you know what I'm saying, give your car a jump, you know what I'm saying, roadside assistance AAA. But it's a similar it's a similar mechanism, right? But it's just applied to the mental realm because we know the mental realm is what actually creates our physical realm in the first place, right? So you may be in a situation where, esoterically speaking, right, you may feel stuck, you may feel like you don't have a battery, right? You may feel like you, you know what I'm saying, out of gas on the side of the road. You need a tow. Your life ain't going nowhere. You ain't having no goddamn motion. You know what I'm saying? And um, this is basically going to give you the tools that you need to transform your reality and basically get that motion, get back on the road, and eventually get to your destination, esoterically speaking, right? Which is basically creating the proper mentality and having the right thoughts and feelings that eventually create circumstances in the one, two, and third dimension that play out as you feeling like, oh, I'm right at home. I'm at St. Studios, you know what I'm saying? I love, you know what I'm saying, my job, or I love my business, or I love this space that I'm in energetically, wherever it is, wherever we going, even though life is a journey, not a destination, so we always moving, but even for that, we're going to need an esoteric AAA. And that's what this video is about, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the times, um, so a lot of my videos, you know what I'm saying, I'll be breaking down certain concepts that you need to actually, you know what I'm saying, have a sufficient mindset and, and take the sufficient actions and stuff, you know what I'm saying, to uh, basically propel yourself in the right direction. But this is actually going to be like a tool you can really use, you know what I'm saying? So Because I know it's easy, even speaking for myself, to watch a certain content creator online and then it kind of falls into that category of, oh, okay, yeah, this is entertainment. Oh, yeah, he's talking some spiritual good game. Oh, yeah, this is good info. You know what I'm saying? But then when it comes time for that to play out in my actual life, you know what I'm saying, we, we start to fall short a little bit. So this is a basically an easy tool, an easy ritual spell that you can take around with you. You know what I'm saying? So whenever you're in your actual day-to-day -day life and you're not just in the comfort of your own home or whatever, watching videos and shit like that, you can say, hold on. Am I applying AAA to this situation, whatever the circumstance is looking like at the time? And if you're not applying AAA, you can, you can check this off. You can, you, can, you can dial AAA, you know what I'm saying? And they're going to come and pick you up and eventually take you to your destination. So what is esoteric AAA? What is AAA? You know what I'm saying? It's basically three, three words. Well, not only you to say word. Basically three spaces that you are. It's like a checklist. You can always check yourself. So... And once you realize that you're checking these three things off your check checklist, you'll have no choice, money back guarantee that you're going to be in a better situation. You know what I'm saying? No matter how minimal on a scale, you know what I'm saying? You apply AAA, you're going to be in a better circumstance than where you were previously, aka being stuck on the side of the esoteric road. You know what I'm saying? Or being locked outside your esoteric spaceship. You know what I'm saying? So it's um, basically three words that transform your whole life. All right, so AAA is essentially, um, I want to get the right order because there is a certain order to it too. Um, it's uh, attention. I made you pay attention because it flicks you off. I'm not flicking you off though. It's just, it's just cancer, you know what I'm saying? It's carnal water. Attention, attitude, right? And then action. Attention, attitude, action, and really in that order because we're going to break down how these things correlate to the fourth, mental, fifth, emotional, and sixth, your character, what you, what you, and the joining of two energies, your sexual energy, you know what I'm saying? Break down these three things and how they correlate to AAA, so whenever a situation you're in, you can apply AAA, and that fourth, fifth, and sixth dimensional energy that you're putting in will get you into a better one, two, and third dimensional energy, right? So boom, off rip, fourth dimensional, in attention, right? You got to control what you pay attention to. And in all actuality, the best cheat code really is to pay attention to nothing, right? The more you can pay attention to nothing, this is actually you paying attention to God, no thing. Because what happens when you pay attention to nothing is 
you're allowed. See, attention is really just made for the present moment, right? It's really just made for like, ah, there's a snake coming, or ah, there's a bear coming, or ah, you know what I'm saying? I'm relaxing, you know what I'm saying, in in a, in a hot spring, or ah, you know what I'm saying? I'm just enjoying this meal. Like, it, that's one thing that the New Age do kind of got right was when they kind of emphasize, ah, oh, yes, you just need to be into the present moment and Zen and all that kind of shit. It's like we can pick and choose and certain things are, you know what I'm saying, realize, okay, y- y'all speaking some good game in that aspect, right? Because whenever you're in the present moment, this is basically you taking power and control over your attention, right? A lot of the times we'll be doing certain things, but our attention will be elsewhere, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and society has even kind of tricked us into thinking that um, this is kind of even a good thing where a lot of people will be like, oh, I'm a mo-. Like my fucking pet peeve is like somebody who's like, like we're having a conversation or something like that. And I'm like talking to them and they're like doing something on their phone or they're like doing, you know what I'm saying? Just doing some other shit. Right. And they'll try to tell me like, oh, don't worry. Uh, I'm a multitasker or you know what I'm saying? I could, I could do two things. It's like, no, motherfucker, you're just fucking ADHD and retarded and you're not in the present moment. And like, don't waste my time or energy by pretending like you're participating participating i just spit that out y'all on camera see i didn't see that you know what i'm saying but participating in in this actual thing that we're doing right now but your mind is elsewhere right so a lot of people get tricked into thinking oh yeah i'm a multitasker i can drive and you know what i'm saying do this at the same time you know what i'm saying i could be at work and do this at the same time i could do everybody listen to future too much i got i'm on molly selling me at the same damn time you know what i'm saying it's like no cut that out you don't need to be in the keyword future. You need to get your ass in the goddamn present, right? So fuck, fuck trying to do two things at the same time. The more you can be in the present moment, this is you um, paying attention to, no- to nothing and using your attention for what it's actually for, right? Because on the, whether you're on the positive end or the negative end, right? Let's say you're paying attention to too much negative things like you're driving and you're thinking about oh how bad your day was at work or you're thinking about oh how much you know what i'm saying you don't want to you know what i'm saying go home and see your little badass kids or some shit like that or you think about how retarded traffic is or something you're too you're, you're giving your attention to something out there that's unfavorable all this is doing right um and i'm kind of getting ahead but all this is doing is a putting you in a, a negative mood right which is the next one that we're going to get to attitude, right? So when you, when you have it, when you pay attention to negative things, this puts you fourth dimension, your thoughts, when you focus on negative things, this puts you in a negative vibration, feeling attitude, fifth dimension, which then causes you to manifest and actually attract and take negative, what actions, right? Sixth dimension, your character, your joining of two energies, how you actually participate with the physical world. You know what I'm saying? So it starts with the first a, your attention, you know what I'm saying, positive or negative. So like I said, if you're paying attention to negative things, you're just going to bring more negative shit in your reality. I got a line. Uh, I ain't going to go into it, but it's basically just saying what I just said. You know what I'm saying? But keep, watch what you keep on your Oh, yeah. Uh, don't visualize worst case scenarios because they might happen, right? A lot of times we'll be thinking we're being logical or, you know what I'm saying, problem, ori- problem solving oriented. You know what I'm saying? This is kind of how school and society indoctrin- indoctrinated us to live all the way down to, um, you know what I'm saying, kids live their whole life not being kids because, you know what I'm saying, their parents may have them in some over, oh, when you go, you know what I'm saying? I saw a post the other day basically talking about how, um, you know what I'm saying, high school sports the purpose of high school sports isn't to, you know what I'm saying, get a college scholarship, but that's what it's become for a lot of people. The purpose of high school sports is to, you know what I'm saying, develop teamwork, good communication, passion, you know what I'm saying, working together, and eventually just enjoy having fun and being a goddamn teenager, you know what I'm saying? And that applies to, like, all kids, you know what I'm saying? Um, they, a lot of kids will get praise based on their parents' shortcomings and insecurities based on how much they can live in the future, you know what I'm saying, how much they can be little adults, you know what I'm saying, and, um, you know what I'm saying, focus on this and do college preparatory or, you know what I'm saying, start a business when they, th- especially now on social media and shit like that, parents have figured out that, oh, my little kid, if the, my business ain't doing shit, but my, if my, my little six-year-old start a business, everybody going to get the likes and attention and shit on that social media. So now kid parents basically utilizing their children, you know what I'm saying, to kind of live up to their shortcomings and shit like that. And you got a whole bunch of five-year-old entrepreneurs and shit like that. And I'm not saying that's always necessarily a bad thing, but it can be a bad thing when, if it's not necessarily just genuine. It's not just 
doing what you love to do. No, it's on some, oh, okay, I'm trying to set up my 401k when I'm five years old and shit like that. And at the end of the day, that's playing some expectation energy. And you got to realize that expectation is the devil, actually. You know what I'm saying? So whether you're spending your attention on negative things or you're on quote unquote positive things where it's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this and it's going to do this, da 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 da. If it's taking you out of the present moment, then it's, it's not. Is you, you can't fuck with it, you know what I'm saying? Paying attention to nothing is like paying attention to God, right? So the attention one is really like you got to kind of almost control your attention by not giving attention to anything, you know what I'm saying? It's like in, in reverse type shit, but this is actually how you start to pay attention to the right things because um, you're going to put yourself in, bez- in better um, present case scenarios where you can be completely... Um, immersed in the present moment and actually take full advantage and pick up on all the full synchronicities and opportunities that you may miss being too much in the future or in the past or something like that and basically giving your attention to shit that, that you don't need to be given attention to and it's very um you know what I'm saying everything in this world is set up for you to fail right so they're always fighting f- for your attention from the moment you wake up and you get on your phone all this sh- shit on like social media ain't necessarily good or bad But it can play out negatively for a lot of individuals because what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying, Um, individuals getting on there and giving too much attention to what other people going on, too much comparison, too much keeping up with the Joneses, right, too much doom and gloom, reading shit on the news. I always like to tell y'all how I work with a naturopath, and one of the videos that we actually just shot was talking about the actual, um, like, stress actually is bad for your health, you know what I'm saying? It it creates a certain chemical, um, cortisol which um, you need cortisol to a certain extent, but when you never are able to get out of stress mode, right, due to overstimulation, due to always being in some, oh my God, the world is ending, oh my God, global warming, oh my God, Russia, you, oh my God, you know what I'm saying? All this stuff that you are putting your attention on negatively, and you may think that you're actually just being smart or logical or a concerned citizen or something like that, what you're actually doing is negatively um, and adversely affecting your health, you know what I'm saying? This is like actual mechanism so you may uh, be an individual where it's like oh damn how come i'm eating all the right food and shit like that but i'm still you know i'm still i'm still sick and shit like that it's like yeah be it's, uh it, you gotta it's your diet is one thing but your mental diet is just as important so you gotta really be in charge of um what you paying attention to and like i said this world is basically set up to mentally rape you every day you know what i'm saying whether it's billboards whether it's your job whether it's social media whether it's tv whether it's the news whether it's just road rage, you know what I'm saying? It's always fighting, especially now, right? When the age of Aquarius, where it's just constant information overload being pushed to you all the time, you know what I'm saying? Like in that video, I was talking about how um, being woke ain't about shit. Being spiritual is going to sleep on shit. So that's kind of what I'm even talking about in this instance with the attention. You got to learn how to put your blinders on, like the horses that be having on the streets, you know what I'm saying, when they got the things over their eyes and shit like that, that's so the horse don't get distracted by niggas on the sidewalk and cars coming and shit like that, you gotta have goddamn tunnel vision, shout out to goddamn tunnel vision, you know what I'm saying, you gotta have your goddamn blockers on, so you can't, you just completely, you know what I'm saying, you just step by step, so now you just going and you taking um, the right steps that you need to take in the path of, um, your, your, your goals and what you're trying to manifest and materialize in the one, two, and third dimension. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you utilize the first A, which is attention. So use that as a note. Whenever you're in your daily life and you're starting to get too much wrapped up in your thoughts, you start to give too much attention to what other people got going on, living by comparison and shit like that, um, paying attention to all the negativity out there, all the mental rapage that they're throwing at your mind 24-7, Take a, take a moment and be like, hold on, I'm taking power and control over my attention. And the way I do that is all I have to focus on is whatever I'm doing right now, whether that's, you know, if you at work, then just focus on the task at hand. If you're on the road, just focus on the road. You know what I'm saying? If you're making content, just focus on that content. You know what I'm saying? If you're in the studio, just focus on that song. <laughs> and this is actually what um, makes you have and produce a lot better outcomes, even if you are, let's say, a content creator or a musician or something like that. Um, this is actually where writer's block or creativity block or not um, being able to hop into your flow state comes from, comes from because you're too busy, you know what I'm saying, hopping in and giving your attention to things that don't necessarily deserve that. And then now you're actually not able to produce and do what you need to do in the present moment, you know what I'm saying? And this leads to the next A, which is your attitude. Gratitude, attitude, I catch a fight changing my attitude, you know what I'm saying? Song I got on volume two, check it out, gratitude, attitude. So attitude is the second aspect of the AAA, which is going to jumpstart your reality to get you to where you need to go. 
And this is dealing with the fifth dimension or the feelings and the emotions, your women's, you know what I'm saying? The first, fourth dimension, your attention, now's your man's in them, you know what I'm saying? Now we're dealing with your, with your women's in them, you know what I'm saying? Fifth dimension. So this is your attitude. Um, you got to be in control of your attitude and, all, and learn how to not have your attitude and your mood be dictated based off of external stimuli, external situations, external outcomes, external expectations, reward systems, um, validations, invalidations, all that kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, and we're, you maybe have been taught this way where it's like, oh, yeah, I'm happy when I get what I want from the world or I'm happy when somebody compliments my boots or some shit like that or I'm happy when, I'm, you know what I'm saying, I get a day off from work. And I'm not saying there's anything necessarily wrong with that. It's like enjoy the good things in life, but you don't, wanna, you don't want your happiness or your mood or your attitude to be contingent upon external stimuli. You always want to be in control with it. So no matter it's the shittiest day, quote, unquote, in the world or the best day in the world, you um, can check yourself and be like, you know what, I know this is all necessary, you know what I'm saying? It takes rain, you know what I'm saying, for, and sunshine for the plants and shit to grow and shit like that. So let me get out of my human narcissistic, narcissistic perspective where I think every day needs to be sunny and shiny and happy and shit like that and realize actually if every day was sunny and shit like that, we would be in a drought. We wouldn't have no water and wouldn't no crops grow and shit like that. So it's the same thing esoterically speaking. So now, once you understand that, that every, every, you know what I'm saying, good and bad is just a human construction and everything just is what it is, um, now you start to think, okay, be in a space where it's like, let, let me not create my attitude based off of the external circumstances and what's going on, right? Or what I'm giving attention to. I mean, let my thoughts put me in a bad mood, you know what I'm saying, because I'm not where I want to be. I'm not at my destination yet. Or I just had to go through that traffic delay, and that delayed me um, from getting to my destination. And you know we're not talking about actual traffic. We're talking about life and shit like that. Circumstances and scenarios you may have went through that didn't play out good. Um, but it's your duty as a witch or a wizard to transmute these things and be like, okay, yeah, it may seem like a blockage. It may have seemed like I was in traffic or I went off the path, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day... I had to see that. I had to, I had to go on that sightseeing and whatever experiences I went through that may have played out quote unquote negatively, they all shaped and formulated my mindset for, uh, and prepared me for what is ultimately meant for me when I do get to my destination, right? So now when I do finally check into that hotel, it's going to feel way much better based on me being stuck in traffic or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That's your job to make it that, you know what I'm saying? You got to transmute that and that's you being in control of your attitude, right? So Whereas with the attention, it was more so about paying attention to nothing and kind of being blank. With the attitude, it kind of leans more so on the positive end, right? So um, you, you don't want, uh, I'm not saying a okay, neutral attitude is good too, you know what I'm saying, just being completely neutral. But if you can kind of just learn to be happy for the sake of being happy, you know what I'm saying, be satisfied for the sake of being satisfied, you know what I'm saying, learn to just um, be content with the present moment. Um, and not get too high or too low, get too giddy, too much in your expectation, or get too much high where you're afraid to let whatever circumstance and shit go, and this leads to addiction and shit like that, and not being able to, um, you know what I'm saying, let go of scenarios where you, where if you're more just neutraled out, you can be in a scenario where it's like, okay, yeah, I'm enjoying this moment, but even when it's gone, I'm going to be cool too, you know what I'm saying, I don't necessarily need it to make it happy, I was happy without it, I'm a man without the gun, you know what I'm saying, so your attitude, notice how the more you can take control of your attention, you'll start to have a better attitude, right? So this is basically your man and your women, your fourth and your fifth dimensional energies, right? So now, okay, this is, you're, 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 pretty, you're almost there, you know what I'm saying? This is the esoteric AAA. Whenever you're out in the world and somebody cuts you off in road rage, realize, okay, that person, that, that has nothing to do with me, you know what I'm saying? Stop taking shit so personal. <clears throat> they didn't cut me off because they didn't like my car or some shit like that. And that's just the space that they are in. And whenever you allow somebody else's vibrations to penetrate into your own, you know what I'm saying, sphere, aura, what you got going on, you end up mani manifesting and materializing what God had for them, a.k.a., you know what I'm saying, they was the one in a rush, you know what I'm saying, trying to cut people off in a negative space. So if you react negatively to that and let that put you in a negative attitude, you're going to end up, you know what I'm saying, manifesting their karma to a certain extent where you can just realize you want to keep your energy as pure as possible while still participating with the, the external world, right? So that's kind of, we're getting ahead of ourselves. That's going to be the final one, the action, you know what I'm saying, the sex, the joining of two energies. But before we get there, you want to make sure when you finally do hop out into the world and do the thing, 
you're in your most purest energy, right? You're paying attention to nothing and you have a, a, a positive gratitude attitude no matter what the external circumstance and situation looks like. So now this puts you in the right fourth and fifth dimensional space, having the right thoughts, right? Having the right feelings because your feelings, your, your attitude is actually how you manifest. That's your, that's your maternal energy. That's like your mood energy. So that's how you draw experiences to you. So based on you paying attention to the wrong shit, being in a negative mood, this is how you actually attract more negative moods or attract um, more um, desires and wanting and lacking energy, you know what I'm saying? And being dissatisfied and depressed because, oh, okay, I'm not necessarily where I, I think I need to be. Where like, that's all some made up shit anyway. You, wherever you at right now is where you need to be. You got to understand that. You know what I'm saying? So everything else you just made up in your head based on a Disney fairy tale story or some shit like that. So once you kind of understand that, understand that, overstand that, okay, boom. Now I can take control of my attitude and just be grateful for whatever circumstance or scenario in, no matter if it looks like what I wanted to play out or it completely looks like, you know what I'm saying, I'm getting some shit I don't deserve or getting some shit I don't want. Always realize, be the witch or the wizard and realize this is for a purpose. You have that power to, to transmute and actually translate that situation into, no, it doesn't mean this. It doesn't mean I, I did anything wrong or I'm in a wrong. It's just, it is, is what it is. And whatever it is, I need to go through it. And the more you can hop into that attitude, the more you're going to attract or, you know what I'm saying, manifest, materialize circumstances and situations to you that actually play out that because you're you're creating the, the one, two, and third from the four, fifth, and six. You're doing it the right way. You're not letting the external world put you in a bad mood and then you end up using that manifest the energy of being in a bad mood to create more holistic circumstances or scenarios so it's just a snowball effect that you feel like you can never get out of no you got to put your foot down the buck stops here you know what i'm saying i don't give a fuck how flunked out my life is i'm in a great mood this is the best day of my life shout out to my goddamn crack ass manager at chick-fil-a <laughs> yeah i used to hate that fucking job bro that shit was terrible but like even in all this th this is kind of what formulated me being a, a positive individual is like, damn, I can be positive in that bullshit. I could be positive anywhere. You know what I'm saying? So now it feels all the much more better when I'm not in that flunked out of that scenario and shit like that. But, um, yeah, he used to have me back in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? We used to move hella lemonade and shit. So I had to go back there and, and, and fucking do the lemon machine and squeeze the water and shit like that. And I used to, hey, he used to always come back there and say, hey, oh, hurry up, Nigel, hurry up, Nigel, you need to go faster, Nigel, faster, Nigel. And after he tell me, after he cracked the whip on my ass and tell me to hurry up, and he'd say, um, he's all, what he's always say, he'd say, uh, um, it's a great day, Nigel. Uh, every day is a great day. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what they say at Chick-fil-A. Every day is a great day. He's like, no, he's like, some days are better than others, but every day is a great day. And then, like, he used to be kind of annoying, but I couldn't but help but acknowledge and realize, like, ah, it's, it's some esoteric wisdom to that. You know what I'm saying? Let me not, let me not miss the gems just because I'm mad at the situation right now, a.k.a. I'm getting paid minimum wage to goddamn be a slave and goddamn stir uh, lemonade in the back of Chick-fil-A. It's like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take that with me, and I'm going to take that for the rest of my life. Some days are better than others, right? But every day is a goddamn great day. And now, with me having that mindset and, uh, you know what I'm saying, having that attitude in a flunked out scenario, in an ain't shit scenario, you know what I'm saying, I extracted whatever little gem I could, even though I wanted to be negative, I was like, you know what, I'm going to let that put me into a good mood. And boom, and now I'm in a scenario where I ain't got to be goddamn stern lemonade in a bag of Chick-fil-A no more, you know what I'm saying? So it plays out like that. You got to always just not be too... Um, what's the word? Like, like, think you better. Like, you can't, like, whatever you got is what you manifest in the material. You got to be responsible and realize that, okay, I am responsible for whatever circumstance or scenario I'm in. So the more I get into a funk about it, the more I piss and moan and bitch and complain about it, the more I'm actually just bringing more scenarios and circumstances like that, which is why, which is when you would come across those people in fast food and shit like that, and they may have an attitude, and they just like, oh, they just give off vibes like they hate their life, and they try to put little... And they try to throw that energy off on you. And you'd be like, damn, nigga, like, it ain't my fault you goddamn working at Chick-fil-A or some shit. Or Chick-fil-A people be nice. But it ain't my fault you working at goddamn Wendy's or some shit like that. And you'd be knowing. It's like, when you, it's easy to notice it in other people. It's like, these motherfuckers, this is why your life ain't shit. Because you always in some negative vibration and shit like that. Okay, well, we'll, we'll use them as a mirror, right? Because whether it's that low vibrational for you, you might be playing out the same energies. Where it's like, you may be dumping off unnecessary negative attitudes on the people. 
um, not realizing that your own, and you, it may feel good in the moment because on some misery needs company, or you may feel like you're getting that one off little bit of power because you're so used to being in a um, disempowered situation that you want to throw your body weight around when you can, but you, know, so you got some kick the cat syndrome where, okay, the boss yelled at you, so you want to go home and yell at your significant other or yell at your kids or yell at your mom or some shit like that because you know they can't, they can't fire you like your boss can, so now you feel good about that. But all you're doing is manifesting and materializing more situations of negativity because your mood, your attitude, right, is in a negative space. So that's, another, that's the next thing to check off when you're going throughout because, like, like I said, this is a tool that you take out into your everyday life that you can use, actually, you know what I'm saying? So when... When you're in the heat of the moment, when you're in the thick of it, you know what I'm saying, out in the world, and you forget all this shit, it's like, wait a minute, what am I paying attention to? What am I, how, how's my attitude right now? No matter, but fuck what's going on and what, t- playing victim and saying, this made me mad, this da 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 da, I control my attitude. I'm going to have a positive can-do attitude right now, you know what I'm saying? Some days are better than others, but every day's a great day, you know what I'm saying? Which leads us to the final A in AAA which is the action component, right? Your action is essentially, um, like I said, this is your six dimensional energy. So this is your six sex energy, which is basically just the joining of two energies, which I like to think about as you. You have one energy, you have one atmosphere, you got a, a sun, a moon, a Mercury, a Mars, all these kind of things. And you're interacting that, you're joining that with the external world, you know what I'm saying, based on where the sun is, based on where, the, based where all these planets are, based on all the other individuals in the world who got who are their own little pieces of the universe and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, so this is when you start to take action, and um, this is how you actually um, start to, in the same way that your, your fifth dimensional mood energy attracted circumstances and situations to you, you the actions that you take are kind of the way that you start to shape them and mold them and make them a lot more um, go in your favor or against your, your favor based on what you're actually acting on. Because what you'll realize is a lot of the times, um, this kind of deals with that video that I did about faith, where it's like faith is not actually just like believing in something or thinking about something or saying, oh, I believe in this. No, faith is always action oriented, right? So <laughs> pay attention in your life. <clears throat> you may be in a scenario where like you spend most of the day taking actions towards some shit that doesn't serve your purpose or doesn't push you closer to your dreams or, you know what I'm saying, closer to materializing or manifesting the circumstances that you want, you know what I'm saying? You may feel like you're forced to only take actions and do certain things at work or do something, um, take care of certain uh, responsibilities for your family or friends or whatever it is, and then it's so easy to go your whole day and not do, damn, I didn't spend five minutes working on my business, working on my creative gift and talents, you know what I'm saying, working on my dreams, working on, um, you know what I'm saying, certain characteristics that I want to embody more, whether that be exercising, um, networking, talking to people, being more healthy. I spent the whole day in just reactionary mode, right? So you don't, it's, that's how a lot of people that are flunked out in the world, um, they, they actually never take action. All, everything that they do with their body is a reaction, right? So they go to a job they hate um, all day because they're reacting to, oh, I got to pay bills and shit like that. Then they come home, waste a whole bunch of time relaxing, watching Netflix and shit like that because they're reacting. Oh, I just spent the whole day at work. I got to relax. I need time to myself and shit. Now, okay, that's still a reaction though, but it's playing out as a quote unquote action, but it's really not a, a action in the, in the higher octave sense. It's a reaction, you know what I'm saying? And then it's like, oh, okay. I'm gonna go to bed, and, and no, 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 no digs to people that go to bed late and shit like that. Everybody's different and shit like that. But I'm just using this as examples. Like, oh, okay, because this is a psychology too, where it's like people feel um, victimized and they don't have enough power and control over their day. So one way that they kind of take their power and control back is like, well, can't nobody tell me when to go to bed, so I'm gonna just stay up late and shit like that. As opposed to, you know, what I'm saying, um, being a person who's like, okay, well, fuck that. Let me just go to bed early wake up early, early bird gets the worm, and I can start to take actions on my dreams before I get to work so I don't feel as victimized when I'm at work, you know what I'm saying? You might be like, nah, so it's still a reaction to a certain extent. Unless you're a night owl, you know what I'm saying? And then you may be somebody who gets all your shit done at night, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all, I'm a, I'm a morning, I'm an early bird. I don't know if you just heard the birds in the background, it's early morning right now, you know what I'm saying? But um, <clears throat> you always wanna be in a scenario where you're dedicating as much as possible, because I know it's hard, because they got the game sewed up and they got so much power and control over individuals' times and shit like that, based on everybody being in survival mode down here. But the more you can start to take action on a day-to-day basis, 
towards the goals that you actually that you say you have faith in, that you say you want to believe. You know what I'm saying? You can't just say, oh, I want to run a business, but then you spend all day, you know what I'm saying, watching TV and then going to work and then doing a whole bunch of taking no action towards that business. You need to take action no matter how small it is on a percentage level, you know what I'm saying? Back to me being at Chick-fil-A. Even when I was working that phone with that at Chick-fil-A, I used to do a little, um, I used to do a little, little IG segment called Live from the drive through Literally, our, our lunch break was like 20 minutes, like 19 minutes or some slave shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So I eat my shit real fast. And then I would just drop, it was only like four bars, you know what I'm saying? But I would just put my four little bars up. I had my Chick-fil-A costume on and shit like that. And I would post them to IG. And that was my little ritual and spell where it's like, y'all not going to get my whole day. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take some action towards what it is that I'm actually trying to manifest and materialize in my life, which is AKA being an artist. You know what I'm saying? So no matter how small it is, you never want to be too much in victim mode to the point where you feel like everything that you're doing is a reaction um, based on you being in survival mode, based on you being emotionally flunked out, so you feel like you got to overly indulge and relax in or taking your power back or just, you know what I'm saying, um, withdrawing from the world. You know what I'm saying? No, you got to take action towards the thing that you actually want to do. And the way that you have the energy and the actual gas to take that action and do that ritual, because anything that we do with our body is the actual ritual, and the witchcraft is what we have on our mind while we're doing that. You know what I'm saying? The way you actually do that, take that out into the world and don't get too washed up under the current is by the first two A's. Paying attention to nothing, taking control of your attention, blocking out all the shit of the bullshit of the world, you know what I'm saying? Which is going to put you in a good attitude. Okay, you got a smile on your face. You're not in victim mode. You're not, you're not letting other people's energies throw you off. You know what I'm saying? And you're like, okay, no, I can't do this. And you start to actually embody the vibration of where you're trying to be in life, you know what I'm saying? So even though you may not be where you want to be, you feel as though you already are, what did it say? I feel like a million bucks, you know what I'm saying? So you got to feel like a million bucks before you actually get the a million bucks, you know what I'm saying? That's how you actually gravitate it towards you. And once you got that proper thought and that feeling, this is going to put you in a space where you can actually start to take actions to go and manifest and materialize that million bucks, even if it's only small at a percentage level based on what you've accumulated so far as all the responsibilities and jobs and shit like that that you got to take care of right now. You're not going to be in a space where you're just spending your whole day reacting to the external stimuli. You're going to spend time taking action and going against the grain in a positive way, right? So you know what I'm saying? You may only got a lunch break to do what you want to do. And maybe other individuals are like, oh, yeah, let's go on our lunch break. Let's go talk about how shitty our job is and gossip and shit like that. And you're like, nah, I'm going to spend this little lunch break, you know what I'm saying, to work on my business. Because this is the only time that I got throughout the whole day. I got to go home and pick up kids or some shit like that. I don't know what the fuck y'all be in. But just so you got to know, you got to say no to the world and take actions and not always be in reactionary mode. And this may rub people the wrong way sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, a lot of the, the world is in some misery needs company um, reaction energy, you know what I'm saying? So you're going to be kind of weird and standoutish. But all that is, is actually esoteric energy that, that, you, that will put you closer to where you want to be. You know what I'm saying? The more you can get people saying, oh, that person's different. Oh, that person don't do what we're doing. It may play out negative right now, but in the long run, that's actually the, just the, them giving you more fuel in your spaceship, them giving you more thoughts and feelings as opposed to you going along with them because you don't want, want to express and take certain actions in the one, two, and third dimension that may look like they're weird or going against what everybody else got going on and shit. And just for you to be in the same scenario as those individuals 10 years down the line, it ain't none of y'all do shit. No, you know what I'm saying? Take action as small as you can, as it may be on a percentage level right now. And the more you do that, all these things will start to accumulate and snowball to the point where you're going to, by default, be paying attention to nothing and always be in the present moment. You're going to, by default, always be in a, a, a happy, smiley attitude, you know what I'm saying, and know that no matter what's going on, you're the one that's in control of your attitude. You, don't even, you can just block out the world with, without even trying. And every action that you take is going to be more so on a percentage level of doing what you want to do in your life, a.k.a. you're not going to have to work that funk down that job. You can spend and, and make a living based off doing what is what you want to do and shit like that. You can spend time with individuals who are more a match, more of your vibration, you know what I'm saying? And everything that you do is an action that's building the life that you want or just improving on the life that you already have as opposed to a reaction being in survival mode of, oh, I got to pay bills or, oh, I got to uphold these responsibilities or, oh, I'm a victim, I'm a victim of all that shit. No. You know what I'm saying? Fuck being reactionary is about taking action. So that's the AAA mechanism that you can take out into your life and apply that. So whenever you're feeling overwhelmed by all the bullshit that's in the world and it's going to happen, 
you just whip this little tool out of your tool belt. I'm like, all right, let me take power and control over my attention. Let me take power and control over my attitude. And then no matter how small it is, let me take an actual action. Let me do an actual ritual right now that's going to put me more closer to my dreams. You know what I'm saying? Whether that's just doing a little dance, you know what I'm saying, or making a phone call to network or putting up a little so, uh, post real quick on IG to promote whatever you got. Just take some sort of action so that you're not just always being reactionary. And the more you can start to play out this AAA energy, the more, you know what I'm saying, you're going to be closer to your destination and not be flunked out left on the side of the road, you know what I'm saying, because you got esoteric roadside assistance. So now your spaceship is flying high to where it needs to be, you know what I'm saying. So that's the magic of AAA. I appreciate y'all for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.